Okay, this is a Home Depot air compressor model 41004, I believe. Anyway, it was having a slow leak up here at this fitting, so I put in a new fitting and I found out the slow leak was caused because this manifold is cracked. So now you can't get this manifold anymore. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to take this thing out and get a coupling or a um, three-quarter inch, I mean a quarter inch NPT female coupling and drill it out. See if I can get it to slide on here. I'll have to get rid of that ridge and solder it. And then I'll be able to thread it back in. That way I could save the rest of it. The other option I had was to thread the outside of this and try and screw something on. But uh, I like the other option first, so I'll give that a try. Okay, underneath this uh, label, there's two hidden screws that hold the manifold on. So this is what I've done is I got there's a manifold in here you see earlier and I just put some T's so I got a T out here for the uh, blow off valve and I got a T here for the shut off I put in a brand new uh, pressure regulator I plugged off the gauge uh, portion and I moved the gauge over to a T here so that sticks out the front some more couplings and over to a quick disconnect this is what I had in there and what happened is I tried to, as I was trying to fix this stuff up modify it to fit it just kept cracking this crack this crack this crack that crack so I just gave up and just put it in all fittings brass fittings make my own manifold the only downsize is uh, because I had to buy several of each item and stuff to make sure I got enough pieces Ended up spending almost sixty dollars for all the brass fittings um, and I when I went into Home Depot I needed one more coupling that uh, I saw these same type of compressors on sale for 99 bucks but you know I hate to just throw things away when they're you know you can fix them up let me uh, show you what's going on in the front. So what I've done in the front is I had to drill a little bitty hole to move this over the uh, overpressure valve. And then I put a plate in here to mount this regulator to. And this is where I brought out the uh, gauge. The old gauge was here before, but uh, now... You know, I rerouted it off of the regulator. So that's what's going on with that. Anyway, it was an interesting little project.